Okay, so for this one, we're going to solve the Laplace transform in the initial value problem. So basically, you are very familiar. Actually, this is just an extension from chapter number two to solve the second order non homogeneous uh, ODE. But we are using different approach on this one. So we are using the Laplace transform. And before we start, so this is uh, some of the prerequisites that you need to know. The first one is the derivative for the Laplace transform. So if you see here, this is the Laplace transform. If we have this, uh, the, the end of the derivative, so this is the Laplace transform form. So it's followed by, if let's say this is power 2, then this is the 2, and so on. And because of that, so the second order derivative, Laplace transform, it should be like this. So you have the s squared ys minus s y0 minus y prime 0. So this is the second order derivative, Laplace transform. And same thing, we have the first order derivative. And as usual, we understand that the Laplace transform for yt basically is equals to ys. So capital Y is ten for the Laplace transform. And if you know this one, so we can proceed to the, the step to solve the initial value problems using the Laplace transform. The first of all, we try to Laplace transform the given ODE for both sides, meaning that we're going to do Laplace transform on each of the terms here. So meaning we're going to do Laplace transform for the second order reactive. Of course, the A here is a constant, so just Laplace transform for this. And Laplace transform for your Y and the B is just a constant. And Laplace transform for your Y here. And also the, the FT functions. And once we have the Laplace transform of this one, so we try to put in the uh, put in the uh, initial value problems and uh, initial conditions your y0 and also your y prime 0 in the expressions and then you try to express the form like ys equals to the function s and then so once you have this one you just perform the normal inverse Laplace transform we want to get the yt inverse Laplace transform to get the yp back because all the pro uh, problem is in the time domain so we need to transform back from the s domain to the t domain that means we need to use the inverse laplace transform